हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अमित खई योर सिक्स सिकमा ब्लैक बेल्ट मेंटर एंड कोच टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंपेयर सम ऑफ द रिलेटिव न्यू टूल्स लाइक स्वॉट एनालिसिस एडी प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग एंड पीडीसीए साइकिल विद ट्रेडिशनल लीन सिक्स सिकमा मेथोडोलॉजीज वी विल लर्न द की कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ दीस टेक्निक्स एंड विल आल्सो टॉक अबाउट कॉमनलिटीज एंड द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन ऑल ऑफ दीस सो स्टे ट्यून्ड first of all let us talk about swot analysis swot stand for strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats a swot analysis is a framework used to evaluate a company's competitive position and to develop a strategic planning for a new product or a new service here strengths describe what an organization excels at what separates it from the competition a strong brand loyal customer base a strong balance sheet unique technology and so on all of these are example of strengths let us talk about the weakness these are the areas or characteristics where a business is a competitive disadvantage related to its peers when we talk about opportunities these are the elements of external environment that management can seize upon to improve business performance for example revenue growth or improved margins so these are the areas where we can focus upon and then the threats these are the again external elements that may endanger a firm's competitive advantage over the peers what are the key problems that your new product or service may face if you launch it in the market these all are counted as threats Let us now see where we can use SWOT analysis. It can be used in business planning, project management, product evaluation, crisis management, change analysis, and viability study when you are actually evaluating launch of a new product or the service in the market. Let us now look at lean manufacturing technique. Lean manufacturing is a production or process improvement methodology. that aims to maximize the productivity and minimize the waste within the service or manufacturing operation it is based on the principle of delivering value to the customer by eliminating waste and continually improving processes lean manufacturing is closely related to just in time manufacturing process which aligns production with demands it is the parts of the operational model that was implemented by toyota that is also known as toyota production system this approach extends beyond the manufacturing process today for example in service industry it involves all of the areas such as marketing customer service finance and i have been using it very successfully in all of the functions across the companies the five steps to implement the lean manufacturing is specify the value map the value stream map create a smooth flow establish the pull system and then strive for the perfection in the long term now looking at the six sigma six sigma is a set of techniques and tools for process improvement that was introduced by bill smith at motorola in 1980s it provides organizations with the tools to improve the capability of their business processes the increase in performance and decrease in process variations it leads to the defect re reduction overall and it improves the profit employee morale quality of the product or the services six sigma is based on the ideal that all business processes can be measured and optimized the term six sigma originated in manufacturing as a means of quality control six sigma quality is achieved when long term defect level are below 3.4 defect per million opportunity or dpmo the six sigma method uses a step by step approach called dmac that is an acronym that stands for define measure analyze improve and control six sigma is a statistical method so you can solve the problems that can be measured in terms of data so six sigma is a data extensive problem solving technique 
the 8d problem solving process was developed by ford motor company it was first described in ford manual in 1987 the manual described the eight step methodology to address the chronic product and process problems these eight steps are establish the team describe the problem implement and verify containment action identifying root cause implement corrective action verify corrective action prevent recurrence and congratulating your team finally now let us look at pdca cycle pdca is also known as plan do check and act cycle it is a four step model for carrying out the change in the process it is an iterative process we keep on doing it until the results the intended result is achieved it is used for continuous learning and improvement of a process or a product here is the brief summary for example plan so plan recognize an opportunity and plan a change for that then the second step is do test the change carry out a small scale study like pilot run then check review the test analyze the results and identify what you have learned or improved so far and then finally fourth step is act take action based on what you learned in the study step and then implement that if the chain did not work go through the cycle again that's why i said it is a iterative process and then with a different kind of plan if you were successful incorporate what you learn from the test into wider changes use what you learn to plan new improvements beginning of the cycle again the pdca cycle is considered a project planning tool and used it should be used and repeated again and again for continuous improvement let us now see what are the commonalities across all of these methodologies number 1 all of them talk about the process improvement and they help you in improving your process step by step then they all focus on problem identification it may be through data in six sigma statistical approach value stream mapping in terms of lean and also root cause analysis in terms of 8d problem solving they also talk about the solution implementation that is the third step solution implementation on a small scale doing a pilot run in the six sigma we do that in the improve phase in the problem solving 8d problem solving we do the same in certain steps so they also talk about the solution implementation and testing and they also have a commonality that they all talk about the continuous review regular reviews and evaluation are integrate integral to all these methodologies they enable companies to analyze the effectiveness of implemented solution measure them and publish them let us now look at the difference between these methodologies number 1 is focus and emphasis lean methodology prioritizes the waste elimination from the processes and while six sigma concentrates on defect reduction and variation reduction there are some methodology specific techniques also while pdca is a continuous improvement tool used in lean methodology six sigma employs dmac define measure analyze improve and control as its primary framework industry variation for example add problem solving commonly used by the automotive industry it is typically employed by the quality engineers or professional to resolve the critical issues there and then we talk about the strategic needs of the businesses swot analysis specially it is a strategic planning technique that used to identify and understand the internal and external factors those effects and organization especially during the new production introduction and new services introduction let us now look at how to choose the right methodology out of them number 1 the understanding of the problem the business must thoroughly understand the problem first by using 5w2h methodology and see that what is the best technique to solve that problem then also the second step to select that is project needs assessment assessing the project needs and considering factors like what is the scope how much is the complexity what is my timeline do i want to do it faster or it may take a longer time is it data driven versus it is the uh, process driven you need to select it 
organizational context so some of the organizations have adopted lean framework as their day to day methodology whereas some focus on the six sigma like we see the uh, automobile industry also do the ad problem solving so whichever is the strategic tool ha that has been adopted in your organization is the next thing to assess in this scenario evaluation of resources is also important because whatever resources you have and their skill set also impacts that what is the methodology you are using if your people are trained on the lean or six sigma or 8d or any other kind of methodology that also is one of the criteria to select the right methodology for a problem solving now let us look at at some of the consideration while you are selecting a certain kind of methodology to be solved number 1 speed and agility lean methodology known for its quick implementation whereas six sigma takes a long time if you have time something like 2 weeks ad problem solving can also be used the second criteria is statistical rigor if you see six sigma it mainly focuses on statistical analysis and then it is a data driven approach whereas when you talk about 8d pdc or lean they are more of the process driven approach if you do not have much of the data about the problem statement use any one of them and then most important is training requirements some methodologies such as six sigma require specialized training like six sigma green belts and black belt certified while other like lean can be implemented by all the employees making factors like training availability an important consideration while you are selecting the right methodology for your process so in conclusion there is no one methodology that fits all based on description of the problem availability of the data timelines criticality of the problem and the training of the employees you may select one of these methodology or select mix of all of these tools employed by them for more such knowledgeable videos follow my channel sigma savi ag thank you